Andrew Tyree, the chairman of the Treasury Select Committee, has given a pretty hard-hitting speech in the City of London, warning policymakers not to soften their attacks on the financial system in the UK. Uh, I'm joined by Martin Arnold, the FT's banking editor, to talk about this. Martin, why has Mr Tyree felt it necessary to intervene? Well, he is particularly talking, uh, was talking about the ring fence, of which he's one of the biggest fans. And this is the uh, law, it has been introduced as a, as a law, uh, requiring all the major banks in the UK to separate their retail banking operations, their high street lending operations, from their riskier operations like investment banking. Um, and this, the idea of this is to make banks easier to be resolved if they run into trouble and hopefully without needing another taxpayer bailout. But recently there has been some, uh, a lot of pushback from the banks against this. They're, they've been complaining about the cost of it, they've been saying it'll put them at a strategic disadvantage and they've also been many critics who've said that the ring fencing doesn't really solve the problems that it was designed to fix. Um, and of course, there's an idea that was come up with several years ago be before a lot of the more recent capital uh, increases and so on were pushed through. But as you say, we've had a lot of pushback of late, not least from John McFarlane, who's the chairman of Barclays and also head of the City UK lobby group. And more recently, Hector Sands, the former head of the FSA. So uh, this is quite a, a powerful intervention. Will Tyree win or will the, uh, the banks win? Well, there had definitely, since the um, uh, Conservative Party, uh, David Cameron, the Prime Minister's victory in May, there have been signs that, particularly from the Treasury and the Chancellor George Osborne, of a softening of the tone towards the city. And we've seen that with the, uh, the promise to uh, reform the banking levy, which was a hugely unpopular tax imposed on the banking sector after the crisis. Also, the, the Bank of England and regulators in the Bank of England have made commitments um, on the ring fencing uh, law and the way they'll interpret it, which have given reassurance to the banks. The, the, the head, the, the chief regulator, the chief watchdog, Martin Wheatley, was ousted by the Treasury. So a lot of, and he was very unpopular with the, with the city having imposed a billion uh, pound fines on, on, them, on the sector as a whole. Um, so there was definitely a sense that things were moving back in the direction of the banks for the first time really since the financial crisis. And the banks were sensing this and they were pushing harder and their lobbying campaigners had really intensified. So I think Andrew Tyree, as I said, who's, who's a big fan of ring fencing, who's also on the Parliamentary Commission on Banking Standards um, and has been instrumental in some of these key reforms, he's saying, hang on a second here, let's not forget that these are the, the key pillars of post-crisis reform and let's not allow the banks to kind of win on this argument and end up throwing away all of these um, uh, reforms that we've introduced in order to make the financial system safer and to stop there being the need for a taxpayer bailout of a big bank ever again. I suppose I, I, I'll press you on the question of, you know, will Chancellor George Osborne listen more to Mr Tyree or more to the bank lobbyists? Well, he's, the, the Chancellor, the signs of the Chancellor's listening a little bit more to the banks, but I think it's it's almost inconceivable, and even the banks themselves admit that it's almost impossible for the government to repeal the ring fencing law, which is written in the statute book. So they'd need another piece of legislation to un unwrite that, if you like. So it's almost impossible. So I think the best the banks themselves say they can hope for is that they can get the, the way that it's implemented to, to give them more flexibility um, and to give them perhaps more opt-outs and, and the regulator can implemented in a way that is more bank friendly and I think Tyree is sensing that and perhaps pushing back against some of those exceptions and some of those waivers that will be granted to the banks perhaps. It's definitely something we need to keep a close watch on as it develops. Martin thank you very much for that. For more on this story and other banking stories go to ft.com slash banking.